Welcome back to another anime on the anime list of all time. We are at number 38. Can't believe we're at number 38. Now then. Recovery of an MMO Jokey. Okay. Recovery of an MMO Jokey is a really good anime. I'll get to why it's not higher on the list and not why it's not there. But Recovery of an MMO Jokey is a romance anime where two characters fall in love in the video game. But then they fall in love in real life because they not because they live right next to each other, and they also be used to be co-workers at some point too. Okay, so with that being said, the two main characters are a girl with purple hair and a guy with the guy with the glasses. Um, there are two guys with the glasses, but the guy with glasses would the other guy with glasses has blue hair, and I'm going to do that. The guy with the blonde hair and the girl with the purple hair fall in love with each other. But when they first meet in real life, he decides to elbow her in the fucking face because he was on call and he was late to work. Okay, okay, that's what happens and that's what, and that's what sparks them up. They used to play video games in the past, but they stopped because she was working all the time. So she, she, she quit work so that way she can play MMOs constantly because she's an otaku in her fucking 30s. Um, which is kind of fucking funny. Um... The main reason why this anime is on the list because of the fact that how they built the characters. First off, at episode 5, he finds out that she is the character that he's she's that she's playing. She plays a dude in an MMO and the guy finds out that she's the same dude. He finds out that he, she plays the dude that he's in a guild with. Because he plays a girl named Lily, and they re, re banished their friendship because of the fact that they used to play a different game with each other back in the past until she had to go to work and stuff like that. Here's the main reason why this romance anime is better than My Girlfriend's a Showbiz. First off, all the fucking dirty jokes of this anime is really fucking good. All the dirty jokes of My Girlfriend's a Showbiz is... Is like to the point. And this anime does not do that. It doesn't even do any dirty jokes. Except for one scene where his buddy tries to hook up with her. But then he decides to back off. Because the other guy likes her. His friend likes her. And this, that, and the other thing. Um, that being said though. It's a romance anime. You should like it. You'll, you won't cry. Um, he doesn't tell her about Lily until the very end. Which that's what most romance anime does. But to be frankly honest with you. There is one ki there is one thing that you should like about this. Um, there's not a lot of characters that get character development. There are five characters in the guild. Two of them don't really, are not really relevant to the story. Because of the fact that they don't really show them. They do show them what they look like in real life. But they're not really important. But the only other person that's important is the guild guy who runs the guild. And he's a college kid that works at a fucking convenience store. He finds out that she plays the same character. He finds out what the girl with the purple hair is in real life. Because she's, she's in her 30s. And he finds out because of the fact that he works at the convenience store and they were talking nerdy stuff because that's what happens when you're a college kid because all you want to care about is MMOs. Okay? If you guys don't know what MMO is, an MMO is a game like Mobile Legends. Like all the freaking people like to play in the phones. That's a mo That's an MMO. MMOs also Mobile Legends, Diablo, you know. For these, I think the first two follow are MMOs. And then they turn it into an RPG first person shooter, I believe. But that's beside the point. Um, that's the that's why this this anime. Now then, why is it so high up on the list? I think the romance is good. I think this, that, and the other thing is good. And also the fact that it's um, I think it made me more respectful respectful towards MMOs because of the fact that it's it's unique. It's I don't play MMOs cuz they're too fucking they're too freaking long when it comes to building a building an MMO, but I think that I can 
understand it if you watch this anime. It's only 11 episodes, just like the last anime that we did on the list. But when it comes to being better than the rest of the anime, well, here's the thing. My Girlfriend's a Show Bitch is in its own place, just like Slow Start was when, when I did number 40. This anime, however, I had a hard time putting this anime 38, 37, or 36, because they're all fucking close. But I think the main factor of why this anime is at number 38 is because of the fact that number 37, number 36 are unique in their own ways. This anime is pretty much an MMO where two people find each, find love to each other, even though they know them in real life because they used to be co-workers, for fucking sakes. And this, that, and the other thing. Okay, okay, now then. Um, it's 11 episodes. This anime, is, uh, this anime doesn't have that many dirty jokes like the last anime that we did on the list, and we're going to be going down that route, but I digress. M MMO junkies... Recovery of an MMO junkie is what an attacku is. Pretty much, you stay at home, you go to the convenience store, buy fucking, you know, cards to get more loot boxes and stuff. It's like fucking Overwatch. Or like fucking Fortnite. You get, except for the first person shooter, third person shooter aspect. And that's what pretty much an MMO, recovery of an MMO junkies are. And she falls in love with the guy. She gets the guy at the end. So that's a good sign. Um, there's 10 episodes, just like the last anime. There's also a special. But is it the best anime of the three that I just said? No. I think the other two anime are should be higher on the list. Like one or two spots. Because I had a hard time with this one and the next two animes on the list. But I put this at number 38 because of the fact that it's too fucking short. I mean, the next two animes have at least 12 episodes, respectively, because that's what anime does. And I think that the story is a lot more interesting, per se, but that's beside the point. Um, I hope you guys have a nice... What do you guys want? Do you guys want to watch Recovering an MMO Junkie? Because if you are an MMO Junkie, that means you play Mobile Legends for like the fucking decades. Um, but that's beside the point. Um... Well, that being said, I hope you guys have a nice, positive day. Take fucking care and stay positive, everyone. Recovery of an MMO junkie. Which, by the way, only three of them get to see each other in real life. The other two do as well at some point, but they don't really think about it. I don't know. Yeah, If you want to find out the other two characters' backstory, go, go fucking watch it. Because I'm not going to explain it. I'll only explain the three characters that actually fucking matter. Because once once the guy at the convenience store finds out that she is the dude that she's the person that plays the dude in her guild who has the blue hair, he he likes to tease her at first, but then he keeps it as a secret just in case for this that, and the other thing because he doesn't want anyone in the guild to know. With that being said, though, and they also do talk on private chat just in case if something happens. Because they don't want, like, any drama or anything like that. And he is a really nice guy. Um, Guy with blue hair with glasses, he's a nice guy. Same goes for the guy with the blonde hair with glasses. But other than that, I would like to say this. I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. And we're moving on to number 37. Number 37 is going to be a really interesting one. Um... And I'd like to say this before I end this video. Number 37, I'm going to make a reference to number 39 a lot. Even though number 38 is recovery of an MMO junkie. But I would like to say digress. Hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. And this is number 38. Like I said, I, have a, I had a hard time with the next three animes on the list. But I think that this anime deserves to be... this. I, I think this anime deserves to be on the list. Because I think the other two animes... Are de are better, but I'll explain that when we get to that, which will probably be later tonight. Stay positive, everyone. Hope you have a nice, positive day.